That's I've met a very interesting nice. gentleman this afternoon, uh, George Washington University, and you are representing? I'm with Campaign GW. We're a student group here on campus that works with the university on development and sustainability here on campus. And that's an important uh, topic these days, right? Oh, definitely, definitely. You're wearing a green shirt, so that's more than just symbolic, though, right? Oh, definitely. The university has made a huge commitment to sustainability, especially in some of its new building practices here on campus. Now, and, and the, some of the exhibitions that we've seen are a testament to that because you have a booth, a table right next to you which talks about what you're doing to try to save energy in the facilities and the halls and all that aspects of the you know. Exactly. It's a com it's a whole campus approach, not just um, focusing on one aspect such as energy conservation, but the entire thing, making new buildings more efficient, making current buildings more efficient, um, encouraging students to conserve energy and water. Um, there's a lot of programs going on on campus, uh, an eco challenge for example, um, monitoring how much water and electricity usage in residence halls and comparing it to last year and the dorm that saves the most wins a prize. So really incentivizing it for students and making it fun. And we're doing it all today uh, to show off of what you've got to offer right here in a beautiful uh, setting during, you know, early fall. Yep. We've got a band out there, lots of food. And uh, hopefully folks will be able to make it down here today, but if not, you can at least educate them about uh, what's going on with this new building that you have coming up. Sure. Um, a, one of the biggest projects here on campus is Square 54, the old GW hospital site. We have some renderings of what it's going to look like. Um, basically, it's going to be a brand new mixed-use uh, community town center uh, with a commercial uh, office space private residences and retail and restaurants. We're most excited about the retail and restaurants. It's going to add a lot of um, vibrancy and energy to the community. Uh, one of the most exciting things is a full service grocery store in the basement of the building, around 40,000 square foot, four times the size of the nearest thing in the neighborhood. So it's really going to change the neighborhood for the better. Well, now, your neighbor over there, Trader Joe's, may not like hearing that, though. <laughs> Trader Joe's will still be a very important part of the community, but this only enhances it. Okay, great. So that's that's a good way to <laughs> handle that circumstance. Um, you're doing some things here today. You're educating people on this new uh, building, and you're giving out some things, too. It looks like bags and so on. Yeah, um, we're really trying to educate the... Um, community, not just about this specific project, but about our 20-year campus plan, our strategy for growth over the next 20 years, focusing on a grow up, not out strategy. Really working with the neighborhood, not to spill past our campus boundaries, but to real, rather contain our growth and improve what we already have here on campus. Okay. So would you say that George Washington University is one of the most progressive college campuses in this area with regards to ecology, sustainability, all those issues that you just brought up? Oh, definitely. <laughs> just the changes I've seen in the three years that I've been here are phenomenal. Just a re really, really focusing on um, reducing our carbon footprint and making ourselves um, a sustainable element of the DC community. Okay, now what have you personally done? How have you changed, if any, in terms of how you handle energy usage or, you know, Whatever you do in a, in a regular day. It's just little things every day. Taking the stairs instead of taking the elevator up one or two stories. Using um, reusable shopping bags instead of plastic mm -hmm. grocery bags. Mm -hmm. We're giving them away, actually. Mm -hmm. so. uh, that's what that's for. Okay. <laughs> yep. Um, okay. Uh, just really doing little things. Not drinking, not using plastic bottles. Using a reusable um, Nalgene bottle, for instance. Just little things like that. That when you add them up together, really make a big impact. Especially on a campus as large as ours. Now, how do you, uh, I mean, this is a very relatively lavish campus, yes. and you have a lot of luxuries here, and so trying to educate people about this, has it been more of a challenge? I think there's a lot of there's a lot of people open to it. A lot of people don't really know how they can be sustainable and what sustainable really means. Um, so a lot of education and outreach and how easy it is to be sustainable. Um, it's really it's really come a long way from being something that was not really econ economical. It's really become easy to integrate it into your everyday life. Mm -hmm. And so, do you think this new building is going to be in any way responsive to some of those issues and topics? Oh, very much so. Um, it's shooting for a lead silver rating mm -hmm. um, through the Green Building Council and really incorporating a lot of sustainable elements, uh, energy conservation in particular, using the windows that are uh, specially treated to keep in heat and keep in cool air so that you reduce the energy use in air conditioning, for example, or heating during the winter. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these kind of integrated strategies that uh, 
not only makes sense uh, environmentally, but economically as well. Okay. What is your major? I am a major in mechanical engineering. Ah, that explains everything. <laughs> I was going to say, there's no architecture program here, but you sort of sound like an architect there for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> so you may end up getting a job in, say, a company like Bowers or an HVAC company, or where do you um, think you'll end up? Keeping those options wide open right now, but um, environmental, environmental issues and sustainability are a huge um, issue for my generation and for future generations, and I think it's really important that we embrace them. Well, Will, I think you'd be a first-round draft choice for a major HVAC mechanical company in this area. So hopefully they'll see this and uh, you'll maybe get a few offers as a result. But uh, I'm impressed with your knowledge. And you speak for a lot of conscientious students in this area who are really oh, attuned to these things, right? A lot of GW student groups have formed over the past few years. Green GW, Net Impact, which is actually doing a really exciting event next weekend. They're installing a green roof on 1957 East Street. Oh, So y'all come. Right? Can the public Def come by and see that? Um, definitely. Okay, good. So how do they find out more about that? Um, I check on the neighborhood website and uh, also GW's website, www.gw.edu. And now I have information on that event? Yes. Okay, great. Well, you've been a wonderful, very eloquent spokesperson for Thank this you cause. And hopefully you'll get as many people as possible to come by and take a look today. Oh, definitely. All right. Nice meeting you, Will. You too.